we get to the press conference and he says, all right, let's go. You know who these guys are. You know, let's get this thing started. They're, like if I was, if, if, if I was the promoter of the UFC, UFC president, Ariel Hawani, I would get on that stage and I would say, thank you everyone for coming. Our first show at MSG broke all kinds of records. Doing this off the top of my head. $18 million gate. One of the greatest nights in the sports history. We crowned our first ever two-weight world champion. We had one of the greatest women's fights of all time. It was phenomenal from top to bottom. People are still talking about it. People come up to me on the streets of New York every time I'm there and say, I was at the first ever card at Madison Square Garden. I was there. And guess what? More than 20,000 people have told me that. But guess what? MSG only holds 20,000. That's how big this card was. I got news for you, my friends. Round two, even better. We have somehow figured out a way to top our maiden voyage to the world's most famous arena. We have somehow figured out a way to give you, our fans, a better card. Let's start with the women. Joanna Jacek is en route to becoming the most dominant female in MMA history. Forget about females. She's en route to becoming one of the most dominant champions in UFC history. She beats up everyone who comes in her way, including last year at MSG. She is unlike anyone we've seen in this sport, but she has never fought anyone like Rose Namajunas. Rose Namajunas came back in April and smoked the karate hottie. She has been fighting for this moment her entire life. In the mean streets of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Rose Namajunas for Sejuani and Jacek promises to be one of our greatest title fights of all time. Now, if that's not enough for you, for years we have talked about teammate versus teammate, friend versus friend. Every single time they have said no. That changes on November 4th. Cody Garbrandt will be defending his title for the first time against his former friend and teammate at Team Alpha Male, TJ Dillashaw. Dillashaw left the team, and now he's coming back to get the title he once wore. One of the greatest grudge matches in UFC history. One of the greatest grudge matches in MMA history. Cody Garbrandt is fighting TJ Dillashaw. They did a whole season of The Ultimate Fighter. We've been waiting for this fight for a year now, and they're finally gonna get it on. These guys could not hate each other more. They could not despise each other more. They will settle their differences on November 4th. And if that is not enough for you, my friends, on November 4th, Saturday night, New York City, Broadway, Madison Square Garden, the greatest fighter of all time, the king of kings, one of the most dominant champions in UFC history, the owner of nine straight title defenses, the man who never lost his welterweight title, the man who walked away on top of the sport, did it unlike any other, the face of Canadian MMA, a pioneer, a trailblazer, George Rush St. Pierre, after a four year hiatus, is coming back to MMA. He is finally coming back. We all thought, including myself, that he would not come back. I'm, I'm playing Dana White here. Including myself, that he would not come back. And guess what, he's coming back. And guess what, he's trying to become just the fourth man in UFC history to be a champion in two different weight classes. He was once the 170 pound champion, he's now going to 185. He is going to take down Michael Bisping. Or at least he's gonna try. And guess what? If Michael Bisping wins on November 4th, he will be the only man in UFC history to beat both Anderson Silva and George St. Pierre. He would cement his place among the gods of MMA. He will cement his place among the very best. He will cement his place as one of the greatest middleweight champions of all time. George St. Pierre is trying to make history off his back. George St. Pierre is trying to stop Michael Bisping from becoming the winningest fighter in UFC history. George St. Pierre is coming back to regain a new throne. Michael Bisping's not gonna let him. This is all going down and more. Wonderboy Thompson, Jorge Masvidal. Can we get some of that? Can we get some excitement? Oh, can we get some love? Can we get some excitement? That was, that, that, that one, that one, that script wrote itself. That was the easiest one to pull off. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt it was a crazy week in Las Vegas, but if I am, am hosting a UFC, give me the chance. If I am hosting a UFC 217 press conference, I am doing it like that. That card writes itself. That is one of the best cards. Yes, stacked, I don't know, but it is, it is juicy. It is chock full of storylines. Can we sell this, please? Can we get people excited, please?